I have uh, a bill that I know is not going to move very far, and it is a bill that would require uh, that people earn sick time, that you work 30 days and you earn so many hours of sick time. And this is important uh, because people have to make a choice. If they don't have earned and paid sick leave, they have to make a choice about uh, going to the doctor if they're ill or going to work or risking losing a day's pay. And so I filed a bill that would require that employees be allowed to earn paid sick leave. A lot of women are affected by this particular issue. Do I stay home with my sick child? Can I take my child to the doctor? Or do I have to go to work uh, where I know I'll be paid and then I can put uh, food on the table? And so this bill is designed to give people the opportunity to earn sick time and also save time. And what by that I mean sometimes uh, people are involved in abusive relationships. And I had a constituent in my district who worked as a cashier. And this is a low-wage job. She had children. She'd taken out a restraining order against her abuser, but she couldn't afford to take time off to seek safe harbor. And she went to work as a cashier uh, in a store. The abuser came into the store, came through her line to check out and shot and killed her. Now, uh, earn sick time, earn safe time would have meant that this is an individual who would be here to raise her children, who could have sought the help, taken the time to seek the help uh, in this relationship. And so that's a, a bill. Sometimes you file a bill knowing that it may not succeed, but you have to have the commitment to address the issues of the people that you serve and to file it anyway.